Hi, Johan. So you're looking to convert your layout lines into a polygon. And you mentioned that you're having issues with the geoprocessing tool convert lines to polygons. So let's have a look. Uh, I think it was the vector geoprocessing tool, geometry tools, lines to polygons was giving you an issue. And the error message was there's only two vertices per line. So I want to start, um, we're going to use a different tool. But let's run through what you're trying to do. I'm going to add the DXF from scratch. So here's the DXF. Let's add that. Okay, so that's been added. And I think the projection, let's just get the pre projection. I think that's what it was. Let's now zoom to that layer and turn on the satellite imagery just to make sure that it is in the right place. I think it's parallel to a road. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to convert this to a shapefile or a geo package. Um, I think you're working with a shapefile, so let's let's try with a shapefile first. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go export save features as, and you say okay. So I said shapefile, and then we'll go put it somewhere. Let's just put it here. Uh, let's go. I'll just call it layout and save and we can keep that same projection let's say okay and there we go so there we go so you're looking to convert that using this method using the geo uh, geo geometry tools lines to polygons layout we'll just create a temporary file let's run that and here's your error message one or more line one or more line ignored okay grammar one or more lines ignored due to geometry not having a minimum of three vertices. Okay, that's no good. We want that as polygons. So let's go ahead and use a different tool on the um, in the toolbox. So select your toolbox. If you don't see this little cog here, you'll need to turn it on. But I think it's on by default. So if we go to plugins, uh, Python, uh, manage, and install uh, plugins, you should be able to see. Let's see. Um, Processing, processing toolbox there, should be on, okay? If it isn't on, just turn it on here. And then you will have a processing menu as well as a toolbox. So this little cog, that's that's what you click on, or you can click on it over here. So let's, so we've done that. So there's uh, my processing toolbox. And then I want you to type in at the top here, polygonize, polygonize, and it's under vector geometry polygonize. So just double click on that. By default, it's selecting layout. Let's select the layout. And let's just run and create a temporary layer. Invalid geometry, that's interesting. Let's close that. What can I do here? Let's go fix. Fix the geometries. Uh, and then save and select. Okay, let's try that again. And close. Okay, so for whatever reason, the geometry wasn't 100% accurate. So all I did was I selected it in the layers panel. I typed in fix down here. And then I clicked on fixed geometry under the edit selected features. So the selected feature is layout. And the fixed geometries is the option you choose. So then that just ran. Like I'll just run it again just to show you. So you double click on that, or you choose a repair structure. The repair method is structure, modify features. Okay, wrong one. So, oh yes, it is the right one. Let's just close that. If we close the polygons, you'll see that this has now been opened up, toggled in editing session. Just save those and close those. And it should have fixed your geometry. And then I went ahead and polygonized. And let's just see. Uh, first of all, it's a temporary layer, so I just want to have a look at the properties and just see what the um, projection is. Uh, source, okay, so it's using how Tobias took LO25 east north up, and you wanted to calculate the areas, so it was it head and, oh, hang on a second. Oh, those are selected, okay, so there we go. Doesn't have any uh columns so let's just go create um just create an id one uh, okay create a 
There we go. That can be a disk. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm just going to run the, the um, field calculator for the ID. And then I just want to populate all of the values with unique numbers. So I'm going to type in at, at row number. Okay, there we go. It's asking for, it's prompting for that command. So at row number will create uh, sequential numbers here, but all unique. So we can say, okay, here we go. That's just so we got an ID. I prefer it that way. And then let's calculate the area. And then you would obviously, if you've got earth numbers, you might need to come in and populate this with the actual earth number. So that's something you might need to do manually. Or if you have a point file with your earth number, you can assign uh, values by, by location. So that's an option for you. Let's update area and I'll assign area. This will be meters squared, which I think is probably uh, sufficient for you. Say OK. There we go. Those are meters squared. Say is that down let's go in here now if you want to check what the various um areas are you can see the areas are there okay so the polygonized tool that is the tool you should use uh let me know how that goes i'm sure it's going to solve your problems if it doesn't let me know okay cheers